Let me get right into it because I know what y'all are thinking. I know y'all are looking at me right now and you're saying, you know something, Stephen A., what you got to say now, Stephen A., what you got to say now? Because Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys met up with the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday night and completely obliterated them from start to finish, winning decisively 33-13. to The Sunday victory displayed how much better the Cowboys are since they lost to the Eagles six weeks ago. Give them credit for that, okay? The Cowboys put up nearly 400 yards of offense and went 9-16 on third downs, scoring on their first four possessions. Well, there's a particular stat that was left out. Did you know that there was nine straight possessions? during last night's game and dating back to a week earlier where the Eagles gave up a score, their offense couldn't stop a damn cold. They can't seem to do anything right defensively these days. Giving up 30 points like it's going out of style, struggling offensively five consecutive games with double-digit deficits. The Eagles are not what we thought they were. They're not what we thought they were. It's just that simple. They've gotten a bit softer. Their secondary can be exploited. You can throw the football on them. You can score on them. I saw Jalen Hurts commit a turnover. By the way, he's got 15 this year. Only had eight last year. Got 15 this year, okay? One of the league leaders, top five dudes in turning the football over. That's Jalen Hurts. A.J. Brown not only turned over the football, but he dropped the pass. You had Devontae Smith. He also turned the ball over. Those are their top three offensive players, and they turned the ball over. I don't know what the hell is going on with the Philadelphia Eagles, okay? But they are no longer one of the two best teams in the NFC. That would belong to the San Francisco 49ers and, yes, the Dallas Cowboys. And I know that y'all expect me to troll because you are a disgusting, nauseating fan base, you Dallas Cowboy fans. Y'all get on my last damn nerves. But it's all love. It's all in fun. Sometimes you have fun hating on the Cowboys. You got love loving the Cowboys. It's all good. It's cool. But in all seriousness, Dak Prescott should be a league-leading candidate for MVP honors right now. That's right. I said it. I said it. Dak Prescott should be a leading candidate for league MVP honors. I really, really do mean that. It makes perfect sense when you consider the touchdowns. He's thrown 28 this year. When you consider his completion percentage, when you consider the yards accumulated, which exceeds 269 per game, when you're devoid of a, of a bell cow at the running back spot, Tony Pollard's got skill. He's got elusivity on, in his repertoire. But the bottom line is he's not an every down back. You look at Coach Mike McCarthy, he promised when he got rid of Kellen Moore as the offensive coordinator because he wanted to call plays himself. He got Jerry Jones to, to bite on that. And Kellen Moore was shipped to Los Angeles to go and work for the Chargers. And don't get me started on them and Brandon Steely's last days as head coach there. The fact is Mike McCarthy has play calling abilities and control now. He said they were going to even things up. He lied. Mike McCarthy lied. They throw the ball an average of approximately 56% of the time and run the football approximately 44% of the time. Is that balanced to you, a near 12% jump from throwing the football or passing the football to running the football? That's not what happened. That's not what he promised. That's not what he said when he got rid of Kellen Moore and he took over play calling duties himself, just like he had lied affectionately. And frivolously, I might add, to get the Cowboys' job to begin with, he also lied about getting control of the offense. He had no intentions of having Dak Prescott and the Cowboys run the football as much as they throw it. This is a passing team. You got CeeDee Lamb. You got Cooks. You got this kid Ferguson at the tight end spot. He's no joke. You got other pieces in play there. And Tony Pollard could still run the football. The Dallas Cowboys are no joke. Their defense is legit. Micah Parsons is that dude. He's the modern-day Lawrence Taylor. OK, and this kid, Deron Bland, is special. And just imagine if they had Trayvon Diggs and he did not get hurt. Could you imagine how much more lead through that defense would be? The Dallas Cowboys may very well win the Super Bowl within the next two years. But it ain't going to be this year. <laughs> it ain't going to be this year. You cancel that because in order to do it, you got to beat San Francisco. And that ain't going to happen. Just want to let y'all know that. Look at the remaining schedule right here. You got the Eagles going against Seattle. Then they play the Giants, Arizona, and then the Giants again. As far as I'm concerned, the Eagles should win their last four games. If the Eagles do that, even though the Cowboys are in first place right now, 
okay, because they got a better divisional record. The reality is, is that if they both win their final four games, the division crown still goes to the Philadelphia Eagles because the Philadelphia Eagles would have a better division and a better conference record. And so if that's the reality, here's the deal. The Philadelphia Eagles will have locked up because you need home field advantage more so than even the Cowboys right now. Even though I think the Cowboys need it too because they're a different team at home than they are on the road. The Dallas Cowboys, they can travel and wreak havoc. I don't like what I'm seeing from the Philadelphia Eagles. Not at all.